most excellent. Failure to comply will result in imprisonment and, if necessary, more severe punishment. You have a laugh! Um, uh, hello? Does, uh, does anyone want to buy a gazette? <laughs> Thank you. Problems, isn't it? Sandals! Where to buy sandals? It's all here in the folders. Oh, uh -huh. you? I know you. How delightful to meet in person. Though, you're shorter than I expected. My name's Estraster, journalist. I speak to the people of Baldur's Gate, so our readers don't have to. I work for the greatest broadsheet in this storied city. It's my job to know who is who. I imagine you'll be becoming quite familiar with it soon. You are, after all, the star of the next Baldur's Mouth Gazette. <laughs> if I told you, you'd lose the fun of reading it yourself. It's our juiciest edition in an age, bound to get everyone talking about you. I bet you do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've really said rather too much and written rather too little. Good day. If it isn't the city's next celebrity, you star in our next edition's top story. Well, you should have considered that before disgracing yourself in public. Since your arrival, reports of absolutist activity in this city have increased tenfold. Hardly seems a coincidence. The truth will be out with tomorrow's broadsheet. People will spit in your face. Your very presence will be bad for business. You'll be a pariah, an outcast, as you should be. And then we can only hope the fists do their duty and escort you to the gallows. Your days of scumming up this good city streets will be over. I would never reveal my sources, and certainly not to the likes of you. Besides, you're too late. The headlines are loaded into the print works already. Tomorrow, you will feel the power of free speech. Vox Populi, Vox Dei. Now, guards! I believe our distinguished guest was just leaving. Would you care to escort them out?
you, Edgebard? Well, Edgebard, up. Onward. sheet article engraved upon it. It speaks positively of you. Don't get over there. Consider it done. As you get closer to the print work, something odd happens. You hear it speak. Not one step further. You are interrupting art. Oh, really? There was that rather defamatory headline. Yeah, yes, I see the resemblance. I'm afraid I can't help it. I've got a good thing going here. Letting you swap out a whole article might get Edvard suspicious. I wouldn't take it too personal. Edvard gets his lines from up top, then gets all worked up over it. Although, it not being personal doesn't change how shafted you'll be. Ah, a meddler after my own heart. Wonderful. Uh, right, uh, let, let's get this article nice and loose. Uh, there. Now, you'll, you'll need to find a replacement piece, of course. Uh, make sure it's a good one. How delightful. No press like excellent press. The editor's in for quite a shock tomorrow. the hero of our latest gazette. Don't let the fame go to your head now. Lord Gortash is going to destroy me. I swear. You'll rue the day you crossed Etvard Needle! <laughs> 